What's up, Dave? Hey, Todd. Bacalao! My job here at the zoo is supervisor of the special animal exhibits department. That includes the Wildlife Ambassador Center and the Children's Zoo. No babies yet? No matter how busy I am, it's great to just go around in the morning, say hi to the people who work here and the animals. Oh, you're already out, bud. Bert! He looks good. When they start talking back, then you should probably get a little bit concerned, but. <laughs> hey, Jason, I'm gonna go in with Jackson for a little bit, all right? all right? Recently, I've been tasked with getting the new Golden Eagle ready for educational programs. What's up, right? First, I'll knock and let him know the door's opening. Hey, Jackson. I heard that there was gonna be a golden eagle coming in, and I absolutely love birds of prey. Hey, bud. So I volunteered to help out in his training. When Jackson was young, he most likely was struck by a car. So he has a right wing injury that prevents him from being releasable to the wild. But because of construction, they needed to find Jackson a new home, and we were more than happy to take him on. So ideally, we'll get him into classrooms and use him as an ambassador for birds of prey and teach kids about golden eagles. Hey, bud. You got a rabbit today, huh? Jackson is an intimidating bird. He's about two and a half, three feet with a four to five foot wingspan. Is this too close? He's beautiful and also quite threatening at the same time. These guys have been known to take small deer. Good, good job, Jackson. Even him staying present with me this close is great. Because essentially, I'm blocking his one exit, and he's not really affected by it. Right now, we're just trying to familiarize Jackson with our presence within his enclosure. It's just a matter of building mutual respect uh, between Jackson and myself. I've actually never handled a bird this size before. I am by no means a falconer, as much as I am just an individual who has uh, enthusiasm and almost an obsession with raptors. So I'm hoping to have someone come in with me and walk me through the process. Today I'm going to be working with and guiding Elias through the process of catching Jackson so we can put Jesses on his ankles. They sent him without the Jesses. They sent his Jesses along with him. Right, but he wasn't camera. wearing his Jesses. Jesses are little leather straps that we use on bird of prey. We just kind of create a little anklet. They're in good shape. They really function like a leash does on your dog. You put this grease on them, it keeps the leather soft, and there's less of a chance it's going to irritate his leg. It's just a means for you to keep the bird on your arm in the position that you want him in. And it keeps the bird safe from harm or potentially injuring itself. Cool. Maybe just a me and Elias yeah, will go I out. I think that's better. Fewer people. Because I started working here a really long time ago and held several different positions, I have a lot of hands-on animal experience. Whoopies! Even as director, every opportunity that I have to be with animals, to handle animals, you know, I take advantage of it. Hello. I also really enjoy mentoring people. I mean, it's great to bring people along who are interested in doing it and say, hey, that's, hey, that's really neat what you just did. Can you show me how to do it? I really like to do that. So just go nice and easy, and I will be right behind you. And the other thing I would do is I would just uncross your arms so you don't have to make that movement when you get in there. I'll slowly approach him, grab him by those legs. Jim will come in, and he'll attach the Jesses to Jackson's legs. I'm not going to lie, there's uh, some anxiety in there. When you're grabbing a bird of prey, you want to just make sure that you are in control of his legs, and that's where he carries all of his power. His talons are incredibly sharp, so you want to always make sure that they're away from any part of your body that you are very fond of. All right. Let, just give him a minute. You OK. Just keep your left hand up and move in towards him.
We'll just let him come down on his own. He'll come down. The biggest thing that you got to get across to people when they're working with animals is you never want to seem excited. You never want to seem anxious. Hey, Jackson. You want to keep the energy level down. You want to really move slowly, deliberately. The animal's going to tell you what's OK and what's not OK. Hey, Jackson. See if you can get him to turn around towards you, which is just kind of go, yeah, go towards his tail. And he'll turn. That's it. That's it. That's it. Hey, Jackson. Nice, nice, beautiful. When he's in hand, he's actually incredibly calm. He's not fighting you. He's very accommodating, as if he were to know that we're trying to just help him out. Nice job. This goes through here. Jackson will have his jesses on as long as he's a program animal here at the Bronx Zoo. So now we can move on to the next step, which is getting him to step up onto a gloved hand. I would just let him go right on the stump. OK. Let him go. Good, Good boy. Good job, Jackson. Thanks, Jim. Thank you. <laughs>